This is Jane from AtticMag.com. I'm here in my office with six catalogs that have just come in the mail. And I've been reading them and thought it might be fun to go through them with a video and really talk about some of the trends that are coming in for spring because they're really pretty clear and they seem to be everywhere. Each catalog has a little bit of one of the two trends I've identified. The first one I want to talk about is called Eco Chic or New Safari or if you want to be snide about it a little bit anyway, out of Africa. It was um, put on the cover of West Elm and they've gone very big with it. And what it basically does is use a color palette of coffee bean or tobacco brown, leaf green, and it uses cream and it uses white or natural muslin colors and a little tiny bit of orange and it's based on three prints in their catalog. It's based on giraffe, zebra, and the zebra is the biggest, and also on snow leopard. And what that really is saying is we want to be um, using animal and uh, uh, floral prints and ferns and leaves and parts of trees and branches and things like antler lamps and antler ornaments and also the very famous koi lamp that's just been a huge um, gotten a lot of attention for West Elm which you see right here. Now in addition to West Elm I've got um, also a Source Perrier which is an upscale catalog and they of course have uh, to give a historical twist to the uh, uh, safari idea taking a a uh, piece from the um, museum in Paris and making a rug out of it. That's a very large zebra style, um, leopard style rug rather. And then those are the buffalo horns that they've mounted on silver. Here's an $1,800 coffee table um, uh, sofa bench with a print zebra uh, out of cowhide covering with nail studs um, going around it. It's a very, very handsome piece. And then they've got their antelope cavorting on a fire screen. And last but not least, they've gone with the botanical leaf um, uh, motif, but on very neoclassical chairs. And the French chair really is also a big trend that you see in most of all the catalogs. But they've done it needlepoint in their typical upscale way. A lot of the French chair stuff was started by anthropology. I have their um, catalog here, and of course you, it's a very girly catalog, and they were the first to bring back the Rococo chair, or at least the first I saw, and those very candy color floral prints, and that kind of retro look. And a lot of the other catalogs, at least Pottery Barn, who I have here, and Sonoma Homes seem to be emulating them. Here's Sonoma Homes' declaration of the French chair. And along with that is the second trend, which is kind of dressmaker chic out of candy colors. What you have are these wild florals with the pop um, reds, orange, yellows, Kelly green, uh, a little bit of the neon. You've got the stripes, which you saw before on the chair and here also at Pottery Barn. And um, Sonoma Homes is a little bit more muted um, uh, floral print, but still, it's uh, they've been very big on coral now for two seasons, but it's very similar. It's just not quite as, as poppy as this. Also, there are a lot of dressmaker details in the quilts and the bedding. There's this ruching, which is gathering and tufting and quilting, which you see here on the Pottery Barn bed. And then if you go over to West Elm, you see pretty much the exact same thing, except they're sort of calling it safari style or natural sleep because they're doing it in muslin. But it is that same kind of gathered, you know, boxed up ruching. Um, Pottery Barn also is using the contrast trim, which you see here on the bed, the, uh, the white with the red, and they've done it with blue. They're using buttons in this picture both on the, as a wall ornament and as a pillow ornament right there in the center on that white pillow. And they're using rickrack, which is a um, kind of a scalloped edge, um, another dressmaker element. And then, of course, all these leaves in this green it wouldn't be... Um, uh, eco chic without this this green and this is the pottery barn version of it and they've gone with the leaf design on their uh, quilts and uh, quilted shams but pottery barn not to be outdone they'll get everything in has also got a zebra chair 
They've also gone to Morocco for those thick, lovely, lush uh, Moroccan rugs, which we saw in the 70s but haven't seen a lot of since. And then Kaelin pillows, another thing from the 70s, uh, which are coming back and which they've just put on their mattress sticking stripe uh, sectional sofa with the baskets on the bottom. So those uh, Kaelin pillows are going to be coming back. And Turkey um, is another source that's near Africa, although it's not Africa. Now, another thing that's really been very interesting is that Pottery Barn and Benjamin Moore have partnered up on a color scheme. So along with these um, pop colors, you can get wall colors to match. And Benjamin Moore has matched up 28 paint colors, um, also with natural names like geranium and um, uh, uh, rosemary green and stem green, things like that. So that's still evoking um, ecology, which is now the new marketing. And um, those you can get in a uh, color book to match up with your purchases. Um, and Pottery Barns really got pretty much all of it. Um, Sonoma Home also got in on the safari look, just to go back for a minute, again with the zebra and with the cowhide rug. And um, that really sums it up. All these people are showing similar looks, just variations thereof, and then um, with different color schemes that are slight, except for the green, which seems to run through everything. So I just wanted to show you these. I think that um, it's fun, and it'll be interesting to see how it develops uh, throughout the year, especially since Pantone has said uh, there's a dark blue, which is going to be the color of 2008. And it's really not in any of these catalogs. It's a sort of blue iris color. And it's very beautiful, but it's just not here yet. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops. Again, Jane from AtticMag.com with a trend report.